Hello everyone. Welcome to the online spoken English class. Today in this module we shall be learning how to express the future in a sentence. Please read these sentences. I will write. They will be writing. We will have written. She will have been writing. What do we notice in these sentences? The sentences tell us of the action of writing that will take place in future. The verb in all of them are used in future tense. However, all these four sentences are different in the sense that they use a different form of the future tense. Let us see what those four forms of the future tense are. Let us read these sentences. I will not write to him. Let's hurry. The shop is about to close. You will fail in the exam if you do not study. The birds will return to their nests in the evening. What do we notice about these sentences? We notice that these sentences talk about events or actions that are yet to happen. In fact, they talk about actions that will happen in a very near future or a possible outcome of an action or will happen as a regular phenomena. They all are in simple future tense. Let us read these sentences. The PM will be addressing the nation tomorrow. Will you be going to the school for the cricket match? I will not be going to the office today. What do we notice in these sentences? These sentences indicate of some action or event that will go on for some time in the future. Such sentences are said to be in the future continuous form. These sentences are formed by will plus be plus present participle of the main verb. The words will and be give it the shape or character of future and the present participle that is ing with the main verb shows that the action would be continuous. Thus, will be and present participle of the main verb in a positive sentence or will not be and present participle of the main verb in a negative sentence show that the sentence is in a future continuous form. Now let us see where the future continuous tense is used. The future continuous form of verbs are used in a sentence to express an action which will be in progress in future. In progress means that it will continue for some time in future. For example, he will be attending the seminar tomorrow. It is also used 
to express an action that will happen as a matter of routine or as a planned happening. For example, the plane will be landing in 20 minutes. Let us read these sentences. I will not have finished cooking before the children come home. By 5 o'clock tomorrow evening, Sham will have reached Paris. What do we notice in these sentences? These sentences talk about actions that will be completed before a specific time in future. That is, there are three things to be noticed. Number one, that the action talks about some future time. Number two, the action will be completed at some future time. And number three, the completion of that action is related to a particular time in future. For example, in the sentence, by 5 o'clock tomorrow evening, Sham will have reached Paris. We see that the action is of Sham reaching Paris. It will be completed tomorrow and it will be completed by 5 o'clock tomorrow evening, a specific time. Such sentences are said to be in future perfect tense. Let us read this sentence. By the end of this week, I will have been traveling for three months. We see that this sentence is expressing an action that will continue into the future and up to a specific point. Such a sentence is said to be in future perfect continuous tense. You should notice the difference between future continuous tense and future perfect continuous tense. In a sentence, in future continuous form, we notice that the action will be going on for some time in the future. There is no indication of any completion to that action. But in a future perfect continuous tense, we see that the action will go on for some time in the future, but it will reach a completion at some specific point. It is also to be said that such sentences are not very common in the language. They are usually used in literature but not commonly used in routine conversations. Now we shall see the use of two words that are often used to impart the future tense character to a verb. These two words are, as you must have noticed, shall and will. We all are generally confused to the use of the words shall and will. Where should we use shall and where should we use will? Let us see. But first we must know that shall and will are known as model auxiliary in verbs. There are other model auxiliaries as well like can, may, but shall and will are important for the future tense. A model auxiliary is that verb that cannot be used independently but is used with another verb to express a mood or tense. When we add the word will or shall to another verb, for example, shall go, will go, it gives the future tense or it imparts a future tense to 
go now the first rule shall shall is used with i and v we shall do it i shall do it and will will is used with you he she it or they they will be going they will do it he will do it you will speak you will ride etc let us see the uses of the word shall as we saw shall is used with the pronouns i and v it is used mostly with question form but it does not ask a question only the form is of a question it is used to express a threat promise or command and thus gives a strength to the sentence for example i shall call the police you shall not go out without my permission it is also used to ask opinion suggestion or wish of the listener in a polite sense for example shall i get you a cup of tea it is cold shall i close the window though these sentences are in question form but they are actually seeking an opinion suggestion or seeking to know the wish of the listener let us see where the word will is used will is used to express a wish or an assurance for example i will do it next time to express a possibility or expectation for example he will reach any moment now it is also used to offer an invitation or make a request for example will you have a walk with me but you must note that this distinction in the use of will and shall is nowadays not maintained it was there in the earlier years but now it is very common to use will with all subjects and it is no longer necessary to use only shall with i and v and here's a quick recap in this module we learned the use of verbs in future tense the four forms of the future tense and the use of the words shall and will in sentences thank you